Hey guys, nice guy IT here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bipedal walker in Trailmakers. Okay, so the first step is to go to um, the little workshop, and then if you're on Xbox, I'm sorry, but this is going to be a lot more difficult for you. And um, so really quick, just type in the workshop, type in Tony Scale IT, and then I will name this thing. Oh, okay. Um, what's something in the real guess? Okay. So go and then type in Tony Scale IT right in the workshop and then go to this little blueprint and then download this if you're on PC. Okay, so we're just going to skip over and then once you have this part right here, which I'm assuming that you do, well, all you do is um, go into your blocks and then go to aerodynamic. Go to wedge one by two, or four by one, or whatever, and then do that. So it looks like that. Okay. Now go over to logic. You get a angle sensor. Flip that like this, so that this blue part, which is the face of the angle sensor, is facing downwards. And then just simply just uh, put that in there and um, go to distance sensor and then make sure that the face is facing downwards so there's no connection on here. Okay, so now what you do is go over to these helicopter engines. Oh, actually select all the helicopter engines. Set to the controls to backslash backslash and select this little helicopter engine right here and then set it to backslash backslash. Okay, and I'll set the speed for each of these. If it's positive, then make it positive 4, and if it's a negative, then make it negative 4. So set all these to negative 4. Or not all of them to negative 4, but positive and negative 4. Okay, so now go to the seats once that's done, and then um, I'll give you a second. So now go to operator seat and then place one right on top of here. So it looks like that. Okay. Now go to rotating servos. Get a uh, rotating servo and place that like that. And then just copy one to this other side right there. Okay. I'm going to get this um, walker right here so that you guys can kind of build it out while I'm um, doing this. Okay, oops, move these out, I forgot. Okay, so now for this um, right one that you have right here, make sure that this arrow is going forward, and then for this one, make sure that, the, um, that this one is going clockwise, and this one going uh, also clockwise, whatever. Okay. So now go to blocks, and then under mechanic, go and then get four large hinges. Place these on each side. And then go to down to frame. Get the um, these blocks right here. Copy these over. Get your rotating servos. Face it this direction. And press copy. Move this down two. Copy. Move down two. Okay. I'm gonna select this block two by four. And then just copy this like that. Okay. And now go to mechanics. And then go to straight suspension. And make sure that it's attached like this. And for the settings, size straight suspension. Set the damping to zero and the stiffness to zero. Now select both of these. And then move it over to this other side. Perfect. Okay. So now this is just going to be the W and uh, S control. And then we're going to do turning. So for these two, set it, um, set this one to S, W, S, W, and then W, S. And then for this one, S, and then W, and then for this one, also, oh, is that up? 
Oops, my bad. Um, w, S, and then S, W. And then F, W. Okay. So now, um, for the settings on the ser rotating servos, select all these. And then go to configure. Set the um, angle to 360. Set to the speed to 0 0.4. And then set it on the hold position. Okay. So now what you do is select this right side. And then go to configure. And then go to delay and then set that to 1. Okay. So this should be working W and S control. So let's try it. So. Whoop. Eh. Uh, huh? I'm very confused on what's happening. Did I do something wrong, or...? Huh. Hmm. Weird. Hmm, wait. Uh, switch these bottom two. If that doesn't work, then I don't know. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, um, S and W is just, re or W and S is just reversed, so, uh, quickly reverse that really quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, I know. I'm going off no script. Okay, so reverse everything. You might have, uh, you might be able to hear my cat sleeping in the background. Okay, so now W and S should work. Perfect. Okay, so as you can tell, we have no turning. And that is where these steering hinges come from. Well, you have the littlest of bit of turning, but we're going to make it so that you have more turning. Okay, so what you do in here is go down to logic and then get four gates. And then copy these up here. And then select both of these. Click to configure and then set this one to A. Or set both of them to A. And then take this one, set the output to negative one. Make sure that these are blowing, um, powering both of those. And then this bottom one is powering both of these. Oh, wait, what? Oops. Uh, also get rid of the S control. If there is S control. Okay, so now it should be A. There we go, look at that. Yeah, simple A control. I didn't have to restart the recording because I um, didn't forget. Okay. So now I'll go over and then select both of these. And then just pr pr press insert. And then also, again, select both of these. And then set this to D. It's a little bit wonky at first. Look at that. So. Um, just make sure everything works, and if you guys have a problem, then just let me know. Well, if you have a problem like that, where it just... What? Why is A and D reversed? Bruh. Okay. So, uh, if there is a problem, then go back, but it's probably just my bad scripting. So, okay, yeah, now it works. Okay. So thank you guys for walk, uh, watching on how to make a quick and fast, uh, what is this, nine minute um, bipedal walker. So thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to uh, this dude on YouTube who suggested it. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah. So you can just leave the video, but here is, home. oh my god, I'm at 400? How? Okay. So, um, huge shout out to Hector in my current latest video of how to build a basic railgun trail makers. He suggested the idea to me, saying, can you, um, do a bipedal walker? And I see, and I say, I love, I'd love to do it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to Hector. Go subscribe to him. So, this has been Tony Scope IT with another tutorial video. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.